Well, it's a wonderful thing that uh, so many of you come each week to celebrate a day with Mary because um, the idea behind it is to promote devotion to Our Lady, especially Our Lady of Fatima. Well, all of us are familiar with the, the, the story and the messages of Fatima, that of for us to pray and do penance, and especially for us to say the rosary each day. And so I wanted to say a little bit about the rosary, because it's such an important prayer for each one of us to say. I'm sure everyone here says their daily rosary, but there's probably lots of people in our family who we know, friends, people who we work with who are Catholics, who never say their rosary. We know the great efficacies that the rosary give. I'm sure you're familiar with lots of stories about how people's life has been changed by saying the daily rosary. There's one story of a famous king of Gal Galicia in Spain and called Alphonsus. And uh, he was a king <coughs> who was a very Catholic king. And um, he went around his kingdom wearing a large rosary. He didn't, unfortunately, he didn't say the rosary himself, but he just went around the kingdom with a large rosary hanging from his um, waist. And so when people saw him walking with this rosary, they would think, well, the king's got his rosary there. He, he must want us to say the rosary. So they said the rosary. He didn't say the rosary, but the people said it on his behalf. And then eventually, what, as King Alphonsus got older, he took, um, he took sick and was dying and went before the judgment seat of God. And whilst he was there being judged by God, the devils were surrounding him and, and accusing him of all the sins that he had, he had committed. And um, our Lord was about to condemn him when our Blessed Lady came up. When our, she came up, she, she, took the ro she took the rosary that he had always worn and put it on a pair of scales. And along with that, she put all those rosaries that were said because of him having worn that rosary on the same scales. And when the scales which were weighed down on one side with all his sins, when she, when she put the rosary on the other side, completely went up the opposite side, and he was redeemed, so to say. The, ro the, beneficies, the beneficies of the rosary far outweighed all the sins he had committed and those people who had said the, the rosary. So Our Lady said to him, well, now I'm going to give you another chance. You won't die now. Go back to the world, but promote the rosary. And he came back and lived and, uh, and started to say the daily rosary after that. <coughs> That's just one example of what the rosary can do to help us get into heaven and to keep us away out of hell. And so many people don't seem to realize the importance of saying the daily rosary. It's for Catholics who say the daily rosary, it's like we're in fifth gear in the spiritual life, whereas Catholics who don't say the daily rosary, it's like you're in a fir first gear. You can't really get it very sh into the spiritual life unless I believe you say the daily rosary. So what did our lady tell us at Fatima, the reasons why we should say the rosary? Well, she gave us 15 um, promises for those people who say the daily rosary. The first is, whoever shall faithfully serve me by the recitation of the rosary shall re receive single graces. Second, I promise my special protection and the greatest graces to all those who shall recite the rosary. Third, the rosary will be a powerful armor against hell. It will destroy vice, decrease sin, and defeat heresies. Fourth, it will cause virtue and good works to flourish. It will obtain for souls 
the abundant mercy of God. It will withdraw the hearts of men from the love of the world and its vanities and will lift them to the desire of eternal things. Oh, that souls would sanctify themselves by this means. Fifth promise. Those who recommend themselves to me by the recitation of the rosary shall not perish. Six. Whoever shall recite the rosary devoutly, applying himself to the considerations of its sacred mysteries, shall never be conquered by misfortune. God will not chastise him in, in his justice. He shall not perish by an unprovided death. If he be just, he shall remain in the grace of God and become worthy of eternal life. Seven, whoever shall have a true devotion for the rosary shall not die without the sacraments of the church. Eight, we're just thinking on that. How many people we know die without getting the last sacraments? People who have been Catholics, their families have been Catholics, but then they die in a hospital without no priest going to see them before they, they, they die. Eight, those who are faithful to, receive, to recite the rosary shall have during their life and at their death the light of God and the plenitude of his graces. At the moment of death, they shall participate in the merits of the saints in paradise. Nine, I shall deliver from purgatory those who have been devoted to the rosary. 10. The faithful children of the rosary shall merit a high degree of glory in heaven. 11. You shall obtain all you ask of me by the recitation of the rosary. 12. All those who propagate the holy rosary shall be aided by me in their necessities. 13. I have obtained for my divine Son that all the advocates of the Rosary shall have for their intercessors the entire celestial court during their life and at the hour of death. 14. All who recite the Rosary are my sons and my brothers and my only Son, Jesus Christ, are sons and brothers of my only Son, Jesus Christ. And then 15, devotion to my rosary is a great sign of predestination. Well, there are the 15 promises of Our Lady at, at Fatima for those people who say the daily rosary. Well, so many things, the great graces that it offers to us. So each one of us should really try to promote the, the rosary in our day-to-day -day lives. It's always good to carry a few, few rosaries around with us because we meet people who don't have rosaries and who don't know how to say the rosary. So we can carry a rosary with a leaflet and give it to them and say, well, this is a rosary, that's how to say it, or maybe show them ourselves. And in that way, we'll be doing them a great act of charity if we can encourage someone to be faithful to a daily rosary. The saints knew it. St. Robert Bellarmine said that those who said the daily rosary would never see the fires of hell. And so, uh, those of us who have the Catholic faith, we should really make sure we promote this love and this wonderful treasure we have in the church of the a powerful weapon of the rosary, which will help all Catholics and non-Catholics alike as well. All Catholics